Hey there friends and folks, today I want to take you through the process of making these simple but unique spiral drop earrings. For this design I mashed up a couple different techniques, so if you haven't learned how to create a wire wrapped bail or how to do the orbit wrap for my three alternative wire loops video, you can go back and check those out now, I'll link them below. But I'll also be taking this step by step, so hopefully these instructions here should suffice. The tools we'll be using today are our needle nose pliers, our round nose pliers, and our wire cutters. For supplies, I'll be working with two of these champagne quartz briolettes, four seed pearls, two five inch segments of 26 gauge wire, and my ear wires. I'll start by securing my first briolette to the end of my first wire. Situating this baby about half an inch in from the end, I will angle both ends of my wire up and then bend the longer tail of wire directly perpendicular to the top of the briolette. I'll then wrap my shorter tail just above that bend to secure my briolette in place. I'll cut off any excess wire I have after about two wraps and tuck my tail in. I'll then thread on two of my four beads, and just a millimeter above that top bead, I'll create a 90 degree bend. This bend will become our top wrap, and we want to make sure this wrap is facing the same way as our briolette bail down below. That way when we string this onto our ear wire, that briolette will be facing forward. So now I will start my wire wrapped loop. I'll coil down one to three times depending on how much space I have, but then instead of cutting off my excess tail, I'm going to go straight into an orbit wrap. Continuing off of that base wrap, I will spiral my wire down over my two beads. I'll do one full orbit and then secure that wire over top of the bottom wrap. Now I will cut off any excess wire and tuck that tail in as best as I can. And now you have your first wrap. I'm going to do my second earring almost identical to the first up until my top loop and orbit. So I will go ahead and wrap that bail and thread those pearls. And when I get to that top loop, I want to make sure my tail is going in the opposite orientation of the first loop I did. So for that first earring, when I did my top loop, I wrapped my tail over the base wire and continued my coil. And for the second earring, I will wrap my tail under that base wire. So when I do my wrap, it will be going in the opposite direction as that first earring. When I'm making earrings with any sort of asymmetric aspect to the design, like this coil, I want those earrings to be mirroring each other rather than identical, because I like the way they frame the face. Once I finish that coil and tuck my tail, I'll just attach my ear wires and I am all done. I love these earrings for everyday use because they're simple enough that they can go with anything really, but also have a unique personality because of that spiral. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. If you make these yourself, I would love to see them. You can share them with me on Instagram at MarsMadeJewelry. And until next time, take care and bead well.